All right, so we're back. This time we're going to go through the assignable inputs. So we're just going to go through it real quick and um, just kind of show you what everything does. And uh, then you can go on and experiment. So I'm going to bring up my sequence real quick. And then I'm going to go into the global menu and we're going to figure out what assigns we want to use. So I'm just going to show you how that works. So we'll go into global. So you can now see that the first and third rows of LEDs are bright, and then the second and fourths are what we're calling breathing. So it's slowly going in and out, right? This is to show you what track you have selected, so which track is going to be affected by the assignable inputs, as well as what function is assigned to the input. So we can go through here and we say, I only want my clap, so that's track two. So I'm just gonna turn off all tracks but the clap, so now our assignable input one is only going to affect the clap. So I'm gonna say assign, input, assignable input one, and I'm gonna plug in a voltage block here, and I'm gonna select roll. So now we're just going to be adding rolls onto the claps. So the more that I turn up this fader, the more we get rolls out of there. So now I'm gonna assign loop, and I'm gonna make it all of these tracks are gonna be affected. And now we're just looping certain, certain steps. So this is a cool experimental one to just kind of like throw a sequencer into here and see what kind of what happens. So next we have reset, and this is basically just the same function as the reset input. But what we can do is we can just say, I only want one of the instruments to reset so we can throw it off of the grid. right next we have erase so we can just erase certain things so I'm just gonna say I want to erase these uh, claps that are coming through as long as the gates high that information gets erased so I'm gonna go back through here and add it back in first I'm gonna reset my playheads we'll re get that all going again now we'll go back to assigns which is the global menu and we've got logic or So logic or is basically just being able to play it in. So now this is something you'd want to be able to send like triggers or something into. For our demonstration, I'm just sending it voltage from the voltage block so you can hear me kind of play along. Right? Basically, if gate is high on the assignable input, then the action that is supposed to happen will not happen because this one has taken over. So this is a really good way to just like if you want to plug drum triggers in or like a drum pad or something like that, that's good for that. Logic AND means that the action will not happen unless the gate in the assignable input is high. So again, we're assigned to claps here, and we're not hearing claps. So if I bring up my voltage here, we're now going to hear the claps. So the AND function is basically, if there's no voltage in the assignable input, then I'm going to ignore the actions that are supposed to be happening until I receive voltage. Logic INVERSE basically just takes everything that wasn't playing and turns it into a trigger when the gate is high. So again, I'll turn the gate down and we're gonna get our normal claps here. And when I send voltage information in, we're just gonna get triggers on all the inverse steps. So that's a fun way to add, uh, add fills really quick. All right, so the random function is our random generation function. So it's just another way to get to um, the same function that's holding random and pressing a track. So right now it's assigned to our claps again, so I'm just gonna send it some voltage. And now we've got a random uh, pattern on our track, that's our clap track. So I'll clear that out, we'll go back to our two and four, go back into global. So the next one is recording quantized. So this quantizes your recording to the 16th note grid. So I can go back through here and we can add some stuff. And this is recording gates quantized to the 16th note grid. So it's a really easy way to record onto the grid. This is another really cool thing for using drum triggers or like a drum pad or something like that. I might do a video on that later. Go into global. Our next one is recording unquantized. So this is if you want to get more of like a human kind of feel, you can record straight onto the micro timing grid, 
which means it won't be quantized to the 16th note um, grid anymore. You can get real kind of sloppy. This also lets you record bursts. So you can record gates that are faster than 16th notes. So if you're a drummer, again, put a drum pad in there and just play it on there and you'll be able to make some really cool, interesting rhythms. We'll clear this out again, do our two and four. The next function is nudge forward. So we can just say, I wanna nudge just this track forward one step on the grid. And I'll do it again, do it again, do it again, and we're back. So the next function is nudge backwards. So same thing, I add some voltage into that assignable input, and now our track is going to be nudged backwards. Again, you can do this. You can assign which track on the top row here. And you can do it to all tracks or just one. I'm just doing it to one because I think that that's the easiest way to understand. All right, so the next selection, we have next variation. So this basically says at the end of the variation, I want you to switch. So we went to B, there's nothing in B. So why don't we duplicate A to B? We'll go through and we'll change our kick drum pattern so we know what's going on. And then we'll go to A and we'll just send it some voltage saying go to B. Now at the end of the variation, it moves. So again, we can go to A, we can make A four bars long, and we'll do duplicate pattern length. And now we'll send this guy some voltage, we'll wait for it to wrap around. So we'll send it voltage on bar one, and now it waits until the end of the variation to move. Our next feature is basically the same except for it's moving back. So we can go through here, let's say we're on B, now I send it some voltage and it will move back to variation A at the end of that variation. Our next selection is next instant. So this is really good if you have another sequencer you're using as kind of the master thing and you just want to change right on beat one and you don't want it to wait and you just want to make sure it's going to move. So right now we can just say change in the middle and that resets the sequencer as well as changes the variation. So it's a good way to keep things in sync with other sequencers. And then we have the last selection is variation A instant. So if we go to this one, this just takes you back to variation A no matter what instantly. It also resets all playheads. Just a quick way to get back to A. So that's inspired by the select bus as well. So you can switch through with your assignables and then with your assignable two, if you have that set to variation A, just snap back to A whenever you'd like. So we just did the top two rows, which is assignable input one. Assignable input two is just mirrored of that. So if you're using like, Two, if you're using next uh, variation and both are set to that and you send two gates at the exact same time, it's going to move two variations. So that, that can be useful as well. Um, if the LEDs are breathing, that means that nothing is assigned, which means that if you've got something plugged into here, you're not going to get any sort of weird anomalies, which is a nice thing if you kind of just forget what you're doing sometimes, like I do. <laughs> So one more thing about the assignables, the labels along the bottom here are your assignable input functions. So if you forget, that's where they are at. And if you need a little bit more help, when you select one, it actually reads it through on the screen here. So if I say I want logic or, it will say logic or across the screen. So depending on which way it works better for you, if you like to look at the bottom or you like to look at the screen, You've got both options so you know exactly where you are at all times. So, yep, that is the assignables. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.